Hi everyone, I just thought I'd show you what I've been picking up from the thrift shops lately. Over here we usually call them op shops, but it's the same sort of thing. Um, the last couple of days I've been to three different shops and this is what I've picked up. I've picked this beautiful piece of, where are we? It's like a gold satin fabric. Um, I like to make those lollipop flowers so that'll come in handy. I'll just adjust the camera a little bit. That might be easier. Okay, so it's it's more of a gold, but I don't know if it's showing up as gold on the camera. Let's see if that helps a bit. Yeah, that's a little bit better. So I got a piece of that, and I think that was 20 cents. I also got a, a doily, which is really pretty. Look at that. That's very pretty. And I think that was... A, that was 50 cents. I bought a necklace, I think. Yep. A necklace just so I can take all the beads off that. It's got some interesting beads on it. And that was 50 cents. And also another necklace that has some nice variety of beads on it also. So that was what I got from one shop and where they don't usually have a lot of things in that shop but I was lucky. Then from the next shop, um, it was a lifeline shop, I got this really soft chul, it's more like wedding veil chul rather than the stiff chul, it's very soft so that's nice to go with flowers as well so I got a piece of that. and. Um, some crochet cotton, a little velvet stand. I also was lucky to find a couple more doilies. Um, they're both the same, so there's that one in a, it's just like an off-white colour. There's two of those. A nice soft piece of calico. Pieces in here. And there it was, uh, I got that, but I didn't actually pay for that. I think she just threw that in the bag because mm, I can't recall picking that one up. So I got that, and then there's although it says fifty cents, she didn't. I didn't end up paying fifty cents. These are some red earrings, but they've got some nice little red beads on them. Um, there's an odd earring there. That'll come in handy for something. There's also this broken earring. I'm making some junk tags at the moment, so pieces like that are very good to have. Um, that's the original earring there that's not broken. I have, oh, I like this. This is, um, it's actually made out of glass and it's quite interesting. Just a little, I can get it out. There we go. Isn't that lovely? It's got a loop at the top to hang it by. So I got that, I got some pearl earrings and also these are like metal flowers so they, I thought they were quite interesting and I think I ended up getting the, those in the other bits for $2 which was really nice of the lady. Now the next ones I got were from a local store in town and I didn't even know they existed until my post office lady told me. Um, so I went and took a look up there and, oh, well, I found a few bits and pieces. I found some blank cards with envelopes and then this tiny little basket. Apparently it's a salt dish, but I just thought it was a cute little basket. I got a brand new pin cushion and it's for, it's a nappy pin cushion, but I thought, I can use it that way and make my own pincushion. It's got new stuffing and everything like that inside, so it'll save a bit of time. I got this little, it's like a suspender strap, but I thought that may come in handy for securing a, a mini album or something like that. I got an odd earring, which makes a nice flower. And I got this pair of earrings, which I love. Aren't they pretty? Crystal earrings. Um, I got these. 
bit unusual. And another necklace with beads and things on it that I can take apart. I have this that I set here. It's got a little garden fork and a few little um, garden embellishments because I'm making something for my mother-in-law for Christmas and that will go nicely. And then I got this unusual kind of uh, brooch here. It's really different, isn't it? I um, don't know what I'll put it on, but I'm sure I'll find something. So I got that and then I also... Got these. Now that's just a tin. I think it's full of um, seed beads. So I won't open that mainly because it's really hard to get open. This is just a bag full. Um, there's a spoon in that. <laughs> Not quite sure what I'll do with the spoon. But there's another necklace there with some red beads. And a big one. There's also a pair of red earrings, but I liked the long bead in the centre. I thought that was a nice bead. Um, there's a pair of pearl earrings. Now they're quite old. Look, they've got the old screw up um, on the back of them. So I don't know whether I'll be pulling those apart or not because they might, they might be stamping onto them. Some buttons. Uh, this necklace. Not too sure about the chain, but I like the butterfly. I think the butterfly's really pretty on that. There's also this bead. And a pair of black earrings. Some nice black beads on that. And this necklace here with all these these are really cute little beads these ones are like frosted and they have all these different they're big aren't they those ones look at that um i thought that might be interesting so but that all came as a bag and with all those things she said two dollars but i actually ended up giving her four because i felt a bit guilty taking all that for two dollars and also yesterday, after I picked my daughter in up, I called it at one more shop and I found some boxes. There's this wooden box and I really like it. It's actually got a golf thing on the front, but it, oh, isn't that nice closure? It's got two packs of cards in it, but I really like the box. So I got that and that was a dollar nice wooden box um, then I got this box here it's a lightweight one just a, I like that for 50 cents another little one here it's just a bit unusual just open it up like that. then I got this one because I've got another um, the swap I'm doing at uh, I forgot the name. Oh, scrappers. Anyway, it's another Christmas box I'm doing, and we've got to just fill it with about twenty-five dollars worth of goodies and decorate the box. But I've got a little frame there that I really like. There's another small frame. And there's another one with a cupid on it. And then I also, they said 2 but it wasn't, it was in the, um, oh there we go, it was a doll. Just some, um, what are they called? Cue cards, uh, word cards, flash cards, that's the word. Flash cards. Um, people use them in their junk journals and things like that, so I might a few of those as well but I like the box the box is good it's a nice size box I'll put a little couple of feet on it and I'll be able to decorate it the ribbon's broken but that's okay I'd take that off anyway so that's what I got and before I go I'm going to sneakily show you something that I've been working on with my daughter um, 
for, she's been going out with her boyfriend for one year and she wanted to give him something um, and so we were looking online and we saw the, um, what are they called, explosion boxes and she says, oh I'd love to make one of those. So I've been giving her a hand making this for him and I won't show you it in too much detail because it's got her it's got some things of hers in it already it's not quite finished but um, she's just got a write in it now um, but I just want to show you the design of it and we use the um, just tell you what the paper is that we used for it it's the Cosmo Cricut range the odds and ends and also some Tim Holtz ideology um, and there's some from Woodland Park October, uh, October afternoon and also just normal basil cardstock so just let me show you this it turned out quite well but it's so full we have to make the lid quite tight otherwise it just bulged out the looser we made the lid the bigger the box seemed to get and it wouldn't meet up at the sides down the bottom here so we had to sort of have the lid on quite snug because there's a lot in here so here we go Are you ready there we go now that lady I can't remember who it was but um, I think she did a spring one and she did all little butterflies and things and my daughter really liked that idea so she's got some butterflies in there and she didn't want to make it too girly because it is for a guy um, and she's just done the 12 months that they've been together with just bits and pieces in it but um, yep that's it I'm not going to show any more of that because yeah it's not mine it's hers to give so there we go and that's the lid there. Okay ladies, thank you for joining me today. Have a lovely day. Bye bye.